a short video just uh, to explain um, sort of a, a finding I I did lately, namely the uh, how much uh, bend there is in such a straight edge, or we we'll call it the test bar, test bar. So I said about the test this. The actual measurement results may not be of actual importance, but the effect is there. So be aware when you use this type of straight edge, uh, so you do not get false reading. As you see, I have several here that I can compare with, and of course the, the Camelback being the stiffest because of the height, uh, the stiffness made up of the height here. As you can see on this half piece example over here, not sure why they have taken it apart but uh, or divided it like this, but anyway, the half or cut in half brown sharp here um, is probably a good example of how you make such a very stiff structure, also very light. Same way as uh, Richard has uh, done with his Kingway designs, so which we can see in the in the linked up uh, videos. Uh, I have others also, and uh, by the way, alert that uh, to hang them down like this is uh, probably a good uh, way to store them, because of course I use the table with sort of as a work table also. So to have them here wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be the the best, and uh, to to put them on these are all, is also okay. But at least hang them down like this should be okay. This being a dovetail camback is also a nice uh, design. Um, I have them in different lengths, and then of course you have the box like these types here, and. Um, The, um, the triangular ones. The triangular ones are lightened, uh, <laughs> made lighter in the way that they are open. And uh, same with the boxways, they are also, also uh, open structure. And then you have different other types. This is, of course, suffering from the same disease as this one, being too long, so it hence shall not be trusted for the same purpose as you do with the camelback. However, I want to measure this one in comparison with these others, and I will measure them at the, um, at, uh, let's say, the, the, the hinge points, whereas you have uh, equal uh, equaled out the the, um, the weight, so it, it should be zero. And on the outer parts here, so we'll see the difference. I promised Richard to, to make this video, so um, I'll do that. And then we'll. No, I know that this cam back is flat. It's one that can represent the cam backs. I said the height here will make it stiff. This is now I know flat and I'll put these which I know also are of equal height. Uh, I will measure under the let's say the hinge points here and zero the indicator. Like there. Zero there, and um, just see if it repeats, which it does. Then I'll take the measurement again where I do where I move this to the sides like this, and then I'll go in again and take the same measurement. And we 
can see it didn't move and even if I push on it it doesn't move so it's stiff then I will do the same with this other type here I know that this is also flat I put it on the let's call this the area points Oops. like that and I go in again I verify that this is zero it's not that it's very critical on the this kind of um, I call it a rough measurement but anyway move out again and put this on the very outer sides and then see get my meaning can you see <laughs> 24 hundreds of a millimeter and if I just push on it like this it moves And this is scraped flat. There's a there's a some centimeters on this side, which I can rectify. But we need there. But I've moved into to fifteen. There's eight on this side. Now it's four, two, and back to zero. And even at this point, I can press down and get two hundredths of a deviation. Well, for the sake of the testing these also, actually this longer piece even now triangulated and stiffer also moves a little bit when I push it here and uh, will move it in and moves about two hundredths of a millimeter so like this and uh, to finish up I will also test the last piece Namely the this guy here. So taking this as let's call it reference as zero you can't see it here but just trust me it's zero there and I do the same Suffering from the same as the triangular one plus 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 one
0.5 to 200 of a millimeter difference and one hundredth of a millimeter when I push down. So goes to I guess show the virtue of um, of the camelback and uh, that these represent a different type of usage really. Okay. So what is this good for? Well, according to Richard, he can explain himself, but now... If I have understood him correctly, you will use this in conjunction with another, let's say, uh, test tool, let's say a straight edge uh, camelback for the total flatness. And then you can use this type to on, on top or after that to provide uh, some means of, uh, of spotting uh, for 20 points per inch, for instance. Uh, but as this conforms to any bow there will be in a surface that's, for instance, if you have a, um, uh, a situation where you have a, a high in the middle, it will, of course, then tend to to, to form that uh, or follow that curvature. Hence, will spot all over. So uh, be aware of that. Okay. Good night.